Well, hello everyone. This is Carrie Beck with Family eBiz. It's been a few weeks. I was sort of out of pocket, and I'll be telling some of that story next uh, in a few minutes. But last week I was actually out of the country. It's been a while since I've been out of the country. Anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about that. But today, what I want to do is talk about freedom in your life, freedom in your business. Do you have freedom in your life? From your online business or is it just weighing you down so much that you don't have freedom to do what's most important to you and so I just think this is such an important topic because we get so caught up in everything that we need to do in that to-do list that we forget the whole reason that we have an online business so I just want to um, help just encourage us to take a step back and pay attention to what um, what we have in our business and whether we're using it well as an, uh, I can't even talk if whether we're using it well so um, if you are joining me for the replay or if you're here live please leave a comment just let me know um, there's like a few days before Thanksgiving and Christmas do you have any plans if so what are your plans for Thanksgiving um, I still got the Thanksgiving uh, background here so let's move into our talk about freedom. How and where do you find your freedom? And as I ask questions, please leave comments with some of your answers. I would love to hear what some of your answers are. Sorry, my um, computer's on a little wobbly thing. I forgot to fix the bottom of it. How and where do you find your freedom? I really think this goes back to your why. We talk about our why a lot. Why do you have an online business? What is the big reason? Not, oh, I need to make money and pay the bills. Yes, that's true. But we, if, you, if that's the only reason, you're not going to keep going. You're not even going to pursue it enough to have the freedom that you want. I truly believe your why excuse me, is connected to your freedom. How will you, if you make money, how will you use it? What kind of freedom will you have if you make money? Some of you would say, if I were making this much money, I would hire a cleaning service and I would not be cleaning my house any longer. That's a big enough why. And if that means a lot to you, then that's what it is. Some of you are going to say, well, if I, and this was my be very beginning why, back about 15 years ago, when we started Curriculum Connection, that was before How to Homeschool My Child. My why was so we could take our children, our family, on nice vacations and spend family quality, family time together. And that was something that I really wanted to do. We had the opportunity to go down to Costa Rica for a couple of weeks. We had the opportunity to go to London. We saved that money up and then we went and took these phenomenal trips and they are great memories as well and they were good just um, relationship building so it was bigger yes I was making money but my why was bigger what is your why does your why involve freedom for me personally right now one of my whys is so I have the freedom to go help with my grandkids when it they need it um, you know that I'm not tied down to a nine to five job to make money so this Friday, we actually, I'll be going to Austin because Jesse and Ashley have a wedding that's out of town. And so I'm going to go spend the night with the girls. So not only do I get to help Ashley, I get to have fun with my granddaughters as well. And I've gone and helped Gentry so many times when she has things that come in. I go and help them as much as possible. And I can go and it's not like I can go and only help at night time. I can help during the day because I have the freedom in my business to work when I want to and to work where I want to. So how, how do you use your freedom? How do you use your freedom? I really think you use your freedom to fulfill your why, that big reason for why you're doing this. And if you can't come up with a bigger why than making money, you need to probably go back to the drawing board. I would encourage you to start making a list of things that you would like to get done, things that you wish you had in your life, and or journal, maybe every morning journal for just one page and get that written down. And you'll come up with some ideas that will um, give your big why. Now, one of my whys in the past has been the freedom to go to El Salvador once a month and work with families and teenage girls and teachers and little kids down there. Um, and I did that for years. And so it has really been two years since I've been down there. I've been trying to get down there. I no longer work with the foundation that um, I was working with. 
so I was having to sort of figure out when and where and where would I stay and all this stuff. Well, it finally happened last week. It was supposed to happen in April. There were some security issues in El Salvador, and I decided not to go. And I got to go. And I had the freedom to leave my business, basically, and spent three days down there. Now, I will tell you, I had time with teachers, time with families, time with teenagers, hugs from all the kids. Here's what I would do. And I, I was staying at a hotel that was safe. I could walk out. It was just like a safe little plaza. They had Starbucks, whether you like Starbucks or not, I don't care, but they had that. It was air conditioned, which was really good. They had Juan Valdez, which I've had in South America before. And so I went in the mornings and I would work in the mornings because they were all working. Most of them were teaching school or working at the school. They were all working or the kids were actually in school. And so I took advantage of that. And I would work in the mornings and get my things done. And a lot of times I was like, um, you know, I know Ross was telling people she's out of the country and she'll reply as soon as possible. But that gave me the freedom then in the evenings and the afternoons to be able to visit, to be able to minister, to find out some of my prayers had been answered about marriages and other marriages weren't doing very well. And I need to start praying in a different way for those marriages. I was able to hear what was going on in the school and the teachers. You know, I was right there on the base at foundation of that school. And I had the opportunity to help start a Christian school so that these kids are being raised up knowing what the Bible is, knowing who God is and what he's done for them. Why could I go to El Salvador? One, I did have the freedom to work from anywhere and to work when I wanted to. I also had extra money so that I could afford a trip down there. Um, and so, you know, because you're that in the hotel and you're eating out, it starts to add up. So I felt like I was using my freedom in a very positive way, a God-honoring way. Well, how do you truly fulfill your why to grow your business with this freedom? I've told you already that I leave on Friday to go babysit my grandkids and possibly have breakfast with my parents. I probably won't be working on Friday. I may get there a little early. I may get 30 minutes or an hour of work done. I may get some work done in the evening after the kids go to sleep. I don't know. But I have that freedom to be able to plan my week and do what I need to over these four days. I also have, I don't know, 30 people coming for a Friendsgiving on Wednesday. And so I have the freedom to be able to um, focus on that and get prepared, especially Wednesday afternoon. I've already been defrosting the turkey, getting it all ready to cook. Um, so even with this deadline, I have an actual deadline on November 18th. I have got to get a project completed. So I am now working so that Ross and I get this all scheduled and we are ready and we are finished with our deadline before I leave on Friday. Because my business gives me the freedom. I can get up really early or work late. Or I can work two or three days and then take off for a week. There's a lot of freedom. And that is what I love about an online business. My question to you is, do you have freedom? Or are you living under the burden of your business? And you're not really getting anything done. Because the business is a burden and there's not that freedom. If it's a burden, you need to rethink what you're doing. Because the whole reason I would think you start a business is to have freedom, to be able to have the money, to earn money in your own way. So, how do you use your why to be able to do this and be more productive? I will tell you, when I know my why, I am more focused. I'll get her done because my why is so big, I will do what it takes. To get it done I had a promotion first of September and it was a huge it was a huge promotion and so I was doing things that I don't normally do just to get that promotion done because the other side of it what I was going to use that money for was so much more important and so I pressed myself and went beyond my own limits think about it when you go on vacation what happens those two days before you go on vacation, especially the day before? You are so focused. You're not paying attention to all the distractions, all the little red notification dots. You are focused because you've got to have it finished before you go on vacation. That's what your why should be doing. That why can motivate you to be productive and focused during whatever time period you're working. And then the result is you have freedom. 
freedom to do and follow the things that you feel like God's calling you to. Freedom to call you along as well and just follow along. Hello, Leilani. I just saw you a little behind my plans for Thanksgiving breast and spend time with the kids. That I love that. And don't spend time around homeschooling. And I love taking a break as well. So, you know, and again, freedom. I'll talk just finally. My plans for Thanksgiving are still a little iffy. We, One of my granddaughters has mono. And so we're all trying to figure out what we're going to do with all of that. At the moment, I'm supposed to go up to Dallas to spend the um the week with Gentry's family. And so I will take off Wednesday and we'll be there and, you know, I don't know how many days we'll be there, but I will be taking some rest time as well. So if y'all have questions about this, if you have ideas to help each other, that's what we are here for. So put it right here and let us know any questions or any other ideas. Maybe I've just completely skipped something. So thanks for spending time with me. I am Carrie Beck with Family Evis. Y'all have a great day.